Hi guys, welcome to this video about the question What's the most reliable weather forecast? So what should you use? Should you watch TV? Should you use an app? Should you use weather models? The most easiest is probably when you're just taking an app and you look at that and you think okay the temperature the weather whatever you see that this is what it will happen how it will happen and yeah i mean if you want to have a little bit more information you can watch your local tv station and watch the meteorologist and sometimes it give you a little bit more information but there is even more than that i can tell you your local meteorologist doesn't tell you everything so let's start with first with the app i'm starting here with the accuweather so let's pretend we are planning for a weekend trip to orlando maybe disney world Orlando, Florida, USA. So we have here the Orlando place entered into the app. And when we go down, so let's say we are planning for next weekend, that's seven days from now, November 29th, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, something like that. And we can see it should be Friday, maximum temperature of 80, then Saturday 81, Sunday 79, nice weather, no rain, no nothing, looking pretty good. And most people would be good with that and plan ahead. And yeah, they wouldn't take too many long pants and jackets whatsoever. They think, okay, 80 degrees sounds pretty good. Let's grab a couple of t-shirts and shorts and flip-flop. And uh, yeah, that's it. But let's go to the next thing. That's the Sky Tower from Fox 13 here. What do they show? Unfortunately, they don't go to the very end. They just show the thing until next Thursday, but we get an idea. Yeah, they also show warmer weather next weekend, 26 that Celsius, but it's about the same thing, but they stop. That's it, nothing more. Yeah, that's a little bit bad. It doesn't cover next weekend, and even this nice meteorologist that won't tell you more about that. So let's go to the next thing and that's the flow x and that's my favorite weather model weather forecast of course it's all about the models but it's not that difficult and on top here you have this nice chart where you see also temperature and so on so we can move from left to right here we are on friday and as you can see, there's a cold front here. Now you can see this blue thing, blue line, temperature goes down here. And then when we move in the timeline to the right side, that's now Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, looking really good. Here we can see 80 degrees temperature, maximum Thursday, then Friday 79, uh, high temperature, and Saturday 70. 6 and Sunday 78 really looking good no rain rain would be blue in blue in this chart uh, really nothing to worry about that a few clouds here gray and yeah looking good but that's still not it and this is where this app really shines this really nice app yeah how to get most out of it we can double click on the top here in this chart it opens all also other weather models not only the the first weather model which you're using usually gfs whatsoever now you can see a lot of different models like canadian model european model whatsoever whatever you have and you can see if you go from left to right also Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you can see all the models agree on that. No uh, model which really has a, 
huge cold front for next week and i mean the weekend to the end of november nothing to see but is it really already that no we can definitely see more let's go back and check the map actually and that's the most interesting thing let's go back here so we can roll back the animation and let's start so we can see cold front coming yeah okay there's certainly agreement on that no doubt about that and then we have a warm-up and now it's getting interesting so thursday there's a cold front approaching can you see that here i'll push a couple of times here along the cold front there's a cold front it is preparing but it is struggling to move further down because it seems to have like somehow uh, high pressure or something which is a little bit holding this cold front up and when we go even further to the right side we slide a little bit to the right side that we can see this cold front which is now located in the atlantic has come down about to the near florida but it's mainly to the east but it is possible that it's coming down so the question is only now where is it coming down is it coming down over the atlantic when it comes over the atlantic that would mean most of the cold air it will be flowing long way over the Atl atlantic which is still very warm at least close to the east side of florida and the temperature i mean the air will heat up and in orlando it the cold front will ar arrive as yeah warmed up air and nothing weird so you can see now it is reaching orlando this cold front uh, but it does nothing yeah you can't see anything yeah that there's no cool down no nothing but you can see how close this is this is really close i mean if this cold front comes down not only uh over the atlantic but it comes down straight over florida which is uh still a quite high likelihood then it will be much colder much colder i can tell you i mean if we, we won't have any snow but it will be at least 10 degrees colder in fahrenheit i would assume so then you would definitely have a problem with all t-shirts and shorts and flip-flops and whatsoever so you see this tells you much more this will tell you like a likelihood no other weather app will tell you a likelihood also this accu weather which is really nice but it won't show you a likelihood and the likelihood is really really important for the weather forecast also here same thing it won't show you a likelihood you will only see that if you're having an app which is showing you the models and in the models you can see the likelihood i mean yeah when we go further even like to sunday you can see uh, no matter where the cold front came down there will be a warm-up on sunday so sunday is pretty safe i mean there's no new cold front approaching but sunday i would say is pretty safe i mean i still could be wrong there's no 100 percent guarantee in weather forecast not even for the next day but still for sunday i would see i would say we are super safe but for thursday friday and saturday we are definitely not out of the woods regarding this cold front it could come down more to the west and then it would have much much higher impact so yeah I don't know which weather app has um, is showing likelihoods of the weather and I mean likelihood what does it mean I mean even if you if they show a likelihood of 50% what does it show what's the other uh, option if it's not uh, matching if it's not if it's not a hit uh, with the forecast what does it mean is it gonna be warmer or colder or whatsoever this is oh, uh, this is something which you only can see here in the flow x so this is why i really like this if you want to plan for a vacation if you want to or if you have to plan 
for a wedding whatsoever this is this gives you much more information than only the weather forecast in another app or the weather guy on tv so this is really really helpful and i like it and yeah i really can recommend to use this thing if you want to get most out of the weather app so that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments or better solutions whatsoever put everything down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time